downed trees, violent waves, and widespread power outages are just some of the ways Lee showed itself along the South Shore Saturday. Some people had bigger messes to clean up than others. Oh, they came down and took out my power and my internet and uh, the other trees. I'm not going to leave up to uh, Lee's hand. We're going to try to get the upper hand on Lee and pull some of them down safely. And we're going to see, see if we can put them where we want them to be. Um, so definitely not the trees that I wanted to come down. I do cut trees for a living as a tree service, but um, I don't want to cut my own trees. Lee didn't pack a punch like previous storms, such as Dorian in 2019, which not only rocked this area, but was the most destructive storm on record in Nova Scotia. This time around, it seems people are more curious than concerned. It's a bit windy out. <laughs> like, waves are getting big. Usually it's quite calm down here, so light wind. Well, this is a big change from what it usually is. What I was expecting, I was just like, I didn't even, I didn't even know this was going to happen. I just thought it was going to be a little bit of wind and that's it. But when I saw my story that this whole thing was just flooded, so I came down here to check it out and it just was, it was crazy. Winds are expected to ease overnight and into tomorrow for Western Nova Scotia. But as Lee only made official landfall a couple of hours ago, we'll still have to wait to see what exactly it leaves behind. Josh Hoffman, CBC News, Shelburne.